Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Carrie. If you're not new here, welcome back. Welcome nonetheless to everyone. And today we're going to be doing a full face of Believe Beauty makeup. Now, Believe Beauty is Dollar General's brand of makeup. And everything's $5 or less. How awesome is that? I mean, $5 or less. So if this makeup is any good at all, that is fantastic because that means you can go to Dollar General and get good makeup. Now there is CoverGirl in a few things at Dollar General already. This is true. But to have more options is always a good thing. So I am going to show you what I've got in my Dollar General bag. I have got the Believe Beauty Foundation Brush. I have got the setting powder. It is called Matte Blur Loose Powder. I've got the mascara. This one's the Extended Lash Lengthening. I've got the foundation. And this is a nice bottle, too. And it's got a pump for five bucks. We've got a gorgeous eyeshadow palette and an equally gorgeous bronzer, blush, and highlight palette. Got some lip stuff. I've got some setting spray, some primer, eyeliner, brow pencil. And look at this. This is their Glimmer Pots Gel to Powder Eyeshadow. Look at that color. That is just gorgeous. I can't wait to try it. Uh-oh. I am missing concealer. So we have almost a full face. Sorry about that, guys. I thought I grabbed this concealer. I think I grabbed everything else that we're going to need, though. So if you're interested in seeing how these products work, keep on watching. Okay. First, we're going to prime our face. This is the Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. And it says this colorless, silky face primer helps to smooth the look of skin, extends the wear of makeup, and works with oil, works with all complexions, I can read, to create the perfect base for flawless foundation. I really should wear my glasses when I'm reading this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take a little primer, about that much. Oh, I feel smooth. It's a nice slip to it. I feel like I didn't get enough from my forehead. There we go. It's um like a light lotion feeling. It feels a little bit hydrating. Okay, so now I'm going to use their foundation brush to try the foundation. Um, they did sell sponges too, but I'm always looking for a good foundation brush, so we'll see how well this one works once I get it out of the package. <laughs> okay, it is glued onto this. I don't know how well I like that because it really doesn't want to come off. And then what are we going to do with the goo? So now there's goo on there. I don't know if you can see that. There's goo. Ugh. Okay, so I don't like that. I don't like the having that glued in there like that, but it is what it is. So let's try out this foundation. It is a nice bottle. Um, it is in the shade Nude. And uh, this was made in Germany. Where was the primer made? Was that in Germany too? I don't know. I can't read it. Okay. Also, uh, the primer is silicone free, paraben free, and not tested on animals. This is made in the USA. Okay. Let me take... I don't know how much we need. 
That's about a pump and a half. Let's see what she's like. Okay, the brush feels pretty nice. Yeah, I think I got this a little white. Okay, this looks like high light, low medium coverage. Maybe it can be built up. Let's find out. Smearing it around a little bit. The brush is pretty nice. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, for a five dollar brush, it's pretty good. Maybe I didn't get it too light. Mm -hmm. I have so much redness in my face, it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, Looks like it did build up a little bit. Just a little bit. Build it up on the nose a bit. Mm. Now I am getting this settling into my pores a bit. Um, on my nose. But you know I have such huge pores on my nose. A lot of foundations do that to me. I think next time I'd use a pore filling primer and that will probably take care of that problem. The foundation itself has a decent thickness to it. Uh, it's blending really well and this brush is doing pretty good. Um, I don't have any concealer, so I'm trying to get around my eyes. And overall, the application looks pretty good. It doesn't look streaky or anything like that. Just a little bit of settling on my nose, but like I said, all foundations kind of do that to me. There we go. That looks a little better. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Um, definitely full, or definitely um, light to medium coverage. There's a, all my freckles are coming through, but I feel like my skin is nicely evened out. So light medium to medium coverage on that, uh, and I am happy to have the new brush. It's not bad. Um, it's nice and soft. Let's get this lid back on here. All right. Um, next, we have powder. And like I said, this is the Matte Blur Loose Powder. I already took the sticker off inside. It's just a sip, regular old sifter. I'm going to put some in my cap and grab a fluffy brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush up some product and let's set the face. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, we might be on to something here. Wow. Okay, that's leaving a nice finish. Huh. 
Oh, now for five bucks, I'll take that setting powder. That's pretty good, and it's it's really finely milled. It's very soft. Color me impressed. Now, do we want to do the eyes first? Probably in case there's fallout, so it's easier to fix. What do you think? I think I need a cup of have some coffee first. Have a fabulous day. Coffee. Mm, very important. Okay, so uh, let's get into the eyes. Um, I don't have an eyeshadow primer. You know, I don't know if they had an eyeshadow primer. If they did, it didn't jump out at me. Um, they might because they have face primer. I know they had concealer, and I know I looked at the concealers. I thought I picked one up. I really did. I apologize for not having one. Luckily for me, I don't really have darkness under my eyes. I just have eye bags, which the concealer helps a little bit with that, but I forgot it. I'm sorry. Anyways, here's the eyeshadow palette. This is the Nearly Nude palette. They had several to choose from. There must have been four or five of them anyway. They had one with these pretty blues in it. It was just gorgeous, but here's the eyeshadows up close. Um, I'm going to start with this and put this, this is like a creamy, it looks white in the camera, but it's not white. It's a cream color. And I'm going to put that down all over the lid and up into my crease. Hmm. It's a little powdery, a little bit of kickback in the pan, but not bad. I'll show you here. There's just a little bit. You can see that. So it's not bad at all. Uh, next, I'm going to take this matte brown and run this through the crease and my outer V a little bit. It's definitely pigmented. I'm actually kind of impressed. Wow. Got just a little bit of patchiness right here. Uh, probably due to not having an eyeshadow primer. <laughs> um, because it does, everywhere else it's blended really well. It's just that one little spot. So let's do the same on the other side. Okay. I'm very pleasantly surprised at that. It, Blended really well. It's a really dark color. I was kind of scared of it. It's okay. Now, I would like to use all the colors in that palette and let you know how they are, but I am dying to get into this. Absolutely dying to get into this. And I plan on applying this with my finger because it is a gel to powder. And this is just so pretty. I want this on my lid now. So I'm going to take some. Ooh, look at that guys. Oh wow, it is really creamy. Okay, you don't have to dig in real hard. You can build it up a bit, but look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's in the shade of rose quartz. I don't know. Pink quartz. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> okay. That is so pretty.
slowly building it up a little bit. It's not quite to the same intensity the other side is. There we go. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I like that. I wonder how it would apply with a brush. Probably pretty well. Uh, it certainly applied nicely with the finger, which is what I would normally do for a cream to powder anyway. <clears throat> okay, let's do under the eyes. Let's see. I take this brush. It is just a e.l.f. Um, blending brush. Yes, it's kind of dense. Um, I think I'm going to dip into this shade here. And run it under the eye. Wow. That's really pigmented. Oh, smoky. Okay. Then I'm just going to blend it out with uh, this e.l.f. blending eye brush and some of that bone shade that was in there because I feel like this is a little too dark. are going to try the eyebrow pencil. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Before we do the mascara, because I don't want to. This is the brow defining pencil in light brown. You see it's got a spoolie on one end and a cap, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep track of that cap. And then my hand doesn't want to come off. Is it screw on or something? Oh, uh, it's sealed. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see what she's made of. Glides on very easily. A little dark for me. I probably should have gotten the blonde. But otherwise, that's actually pretty nice. Aside from my boo boo there. Yeah. That was remarkably easy to use. And there we go. They are not twins. My eyebrows never match. Ever. They're sisters, not twins. Okay. Now we're going to dig into the mascara. Let's see if it's to use. Sweep the brush from root to tip. Use exact moment. Right. Uh, so it's just like every other mascara. I don't know why I thought something might be different. I guess it doesn't hurt to check. Okay, let's check out the wand. Pretty packaging. Oh. Oh! It's flexible. I don't know if you can see it bending there. It's just kind of a plastic spiky. Okay, let's try it. Once again, this is a lengthening mascara. Oh! Oh dear. I made a mess.
it's a fairly wet wait for that to dry and clean that up because boy did I make a mess. Okay, let's try a second coat on the top. I'm not in a second coat on the lower, just the top. We'll see what we can come up with. That is two coats. Not too shabby. And this side is just busy. Sticking straight out as per usual. Okay, that does it for the eyes. <clears throat> now, Got to do the eyeliner. It's okay. We can do that real quick. Now the eyeliner has a really long tip. Don't know how well this is go gonna go. Can you see that? Uh, so let's be very gentle. Right, right along the lash line. Oh. That's not bad. I believe the eyeliner was four fifty. I don't think it was five dollars. Um, it was definitely less than that. It was either like four or four fifty. I feel like. It's actually going on pretty well. Nice. Let's watch this on the back of my hand. Oh yeah. It's pretty decent. It's uh, not the blackest one I've ever seen, but it's pretty decent for a few bucks, I have to say. Okay, <clears throat> now let's move on to the face. I didn't really get any fallout under my eyes. Um, the only thing that happened under my eyes was mascara because I blinked, not on one, just one eye, but on both eyes, because <sighs> that's how I roll. <laughs> now if I can get this open. Okay, now let's start with the bronzer. It's a nice shade. Huh, I like that. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Blush. Let's use this one. Oh, that's pretty. Well, and these are pretty pigmented. Uh, for the price, they're just amazing. Wow. I like it. That's really nice. All right. Highlight. We're going to move on to highlight. Um, 
let's see here. The this is the light to medium skin palette. Let's see what this highlight's got to say. Guys, that is a wet looking highlight. Wow. See that? Wow. <laughs> I sound like my granddaughter now. Wow. And it is buildable. So if you want to be blinding, you can be blinding. How about that, guys? That is gorgeous. Let's take a little bit of that. Not with that brush, that's dirty. Let's take this brush. This is a Johnny Concept brush. This is a cute little thing. Let's take some of that and put it in the corner of the eye. Get that inner corner lit up. And then take a little bit from under the brow bone. And then let's take a little bit down the nose. Cupid's bow, a little up here, there we go, beautiful palette, I am, <laughs> I am really impressed, um, I didn't expect this to last this long, or to last, I didn't expect this to work out so well. Okay, now I have the Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. You get two fluid ounces in this. It says to hold the bottle six to eight inches away from face and mist directly on the skin. You can use this to prime before makeup, set after makeup, and refresh. Awesome. It says a replenishing makeup setting spray that hydrates, preps, and sets skin for flawless makeup application. We'll leave your skin with a healthy looking finish. Let's see what the sprayer is like on this. Hmm. Wow, okay. Okay. A little a hair aggressive, but nice and misty. Let's mist our face. It's got a very pleasant smell. I'm not sure what that smell is, but, and it doesn't really say on here. <laughs> I don't know, but it smells nice. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. I like it. Mmm. I like it. What do you guys think? It's the finished look. I am all done. No, I'm not. It's not the finished look. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have this to go. This is Georgia Peach. I believe this is a lip flush. Yes, Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. Lustrous Shine Lip Gloss. They've got these security tags on them. I'm not sure what that's about. 
Okay, let's try this on for size. Here's the applicator. It is definitely sticky, but it's a lip gloss, so you know, I should have probably picked up a lipstick too, but I didn't. I was so excited when I was at the display that certain things slipped my mind, like lipstick concealer. It's a bit sticky, but I like it. It's got a nice, soft, your lips, but better kind of color. Um, it's not opaque. It is uh, on the sheer side, but I do like it. I, I would wear it again, and I would purchase more colors, definitely. Okay, from start to finish, the primer, eh, eh it was okay. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. The foundation is pretty decent. I don't know how it's going to wear, um, so we will see. But like most foundations, like I noted, it sunk into my pores on my nose, so I would need to use a pore filling primer. I didn't expect this to uh, pore fill for me or anything like that, but so it's just my skin. Um, <clears throat> The powder, I really like the powder. It does blur a little bit. Um, I feel like my skin looks smoother and less textured with it. Like, not a lot, but a little bit. Ooh, there is creasing around my mouth. So there is creasing with that foundation. Okay, okay. Brow pencil, a little waxy, but, you know, the color payoff was great with it. Um, I'm not complaining. Uh, if... If you like a firmer pencil, then definitely don't get this one. This one's very creamy. Um, not really waxy, but creamy. Um, the uh, eyeshadow palette. I really, really like this eyeshadow palette. Now, I didn't get all up into the shimmers, except for under my eye with the one. But um, they seem really pigmented. There's not a lot of kick up. There is a little bit of kick up. But I didn't really experience any fallout. Um... So I'd say it's pretty good. I want to buy a couple more of these palettes and play around with them. Um, this uh, gel to powder eyeshadow, love it. Absolutely love it. It's such a neat texture. Um, I, I, I definitely want to get some more colors in that too. The um, mascara, not anything to write home about. It's just an average mascara. Um, I, just, I can't get over the highlighter in this face palette really good. The the bronzer is a nice color too. It's not too orangey or anything like that. It's a nice uh, on the cooler side bronzer. Um, and the blush color, I really like the blush color. I think it's gorgeous. It's just, I mean, look at that highlight. That is gorgeous. Um, the eyeliner, eh. And the lip gloss, I do like the lip gloss. It makes my lips look nice and plump. And moist. It's a little sticky. It's sticking to my canker sore. I've got a canker sore right on the inside of my lip and it hurts. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's overall. Oh, and the setting spray. I do like the setting spray. Now, I don't know. Of course, I can't speak on how long it makes my makeup last, but the scent is nice. The sprayer is pretty nice. There wasn't any big blobs of setting spray coming out or anything like that. Um, so I, I do like the setting spray as far as I know. Um, so that is it for this look. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to have a bright and blessed day. Thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.